Hello everyone, it's Wei Wei and Charles. It's been a long time we didn't take a video together. Yeah, it has been a while. You were sick this month. Yes, I so. take a long time to fix my throat. <laughs> yeah, so I made videos on my other channel and you... Die on the bed. Died on the bed <laughs> and came back to life. So yeah, so I survive and come back again. So what are we going to talk about today? Today we are talking about the drama or anime we watch in the spring. Yeah, so we'll go through each of the shows just quickly what they're about, what we liked about them, what kind of person we would recommend them to. And lastly, we will tell you which ones are personal favorites. Right. Here we go. Yes, here we go. The first one. Vikings. Vikings. The sixth season. Yes, just, 89 episodes yes, of Vikings. We've just finished it. So what is Vikings about? It's based on the history and just talk about the story about some man called Ragnar Rosbuk and his son's story. Yeah, and it has a pretty heavy dose of fiction injected into it, but, but it is such an interesting dramatization of the Viking raids into England, France, and other areas. It's nice about Viking, I think the story is very long, so you, you can enjoy it longer, I think. Yeah. And the, every character have a nice story and make you cry, make you laugh, mm. very just move your heart. 89 episodes, that's a lot. Yes, so of course you will feel something in the character, right? Yeah, it's really good. I especially like Ragnar Lothbrok. He's a cool character. I like Ragasa. You like Lagertha? Yes. There you go. So what kind of person would you recommend Vikings to? Mm, if you like the fighting <laughs> drama, okay. you would even like it. Because it's a lot of fighting there. It's Viking. Yeah. And if you enjoyed Game of Thrones and similar series, then you'll definitely enjoy Vikings. The bad point is, it's very violence. <laughs> yes. If you are sensitive to violence, you might want to skip this one. Yes. And if you're watching this show, you'll learn what is called Blood Eagle. The Blood Eagle. And the second one we watch is The Witcher. The Witcher. Yeah. We started watching this one because we wanted to watch another show similar to Vikings and The Witcher was recommended. Yeah, because it's a fantasy story, we like it. Yeah. And, and you play the game. I did. I played The Witcher 3. I never got super far into it. Just both times I started it, once on PC and once on PlayStation 4, I got caught up with work and other things. But from what I did play of it, I really liked it. So I was excited to check out the drama because I'd heard good things about it. Yeah, and the drama, they have the f not only fighting, they have some fun story in there, some songs that make you happier. Yeah, I like the bard, Dandelion. Yeah, funny. everyone like him, I think. Sing a loud song in the drama. Right. I also really loved Geralt. Henry Carvel does such a good job bringing yeah. his character to life. And the series doesn't take itself too seriously. So mm -hmm. while it is a bit dark in some respects, it's also just really fun to watch. I like his hmm. <laughs> Geralt's? Yes, the hmm. <laughs> yeah, it just like it reminds me of the games. Yes. <laughs> so, what kind of person would you recommend The Witcher to? If you like a fantasy story and you don't want to watch a long season, The Witcher is nice for you. Yeah, just eight episodes in the first season. And if you enjoyed The Witcher games or the books, then definitely you should take a look. Yeah. Toss a coin to your witcher. Oh. The third one is Flame of Rekka. <laughs> so this is a classic 1990s shonen anime, and I'm a big fan of Hunter Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho, so I wanted to check out more 1990s shonen anime and Flame of Rekka. Well, I think it's a lot lesser known is actually pretty enjoyable. It is a lot more vanilla, a lot more mid than those other two shows. Essentially, the story is a fairly simple but passionate one about a boy named Hanabishi Yureka who can control and manipulate flames and his friends who also have these cool powers granted to them by magical objects. And it follows their struggle to stop a bad dude from gaining immortal life in a nutshell. Okay, so if you like the 
classic shonen manga style. You should watch it, I think. Yeah, so it is full of tropes and very typical character archetypes, but it's also fun. And if you love shonen anime, you'll love this one. So who would I recommend this to? Anyone who loves shonen anime. But it's a little bit old style. <laughs> so if you're used to newer stuff, you'll just have to get used to the look and feel of older anime shows. Yeah, but I think you will like it. I think so too. So I was actually watching Flame of Rekka by myself, but Weiwei also watched a show by herself, which was... The Olan High School Host Club. <laughs> Olan High School Host Club. Yeah, I watched it when I was, the, I don't know, junior high or something like that. Okay. It's just fun school romantic story. <laughs> sure, so why do you like it? Because it's just... The story is basically on the is a high school student. Okay. And they are very rich. Okay. And in school, they want to do something, so the one man just make the crab, host the crab to mm. service the customer, of course, the girls. Okay. And the main character, she's a girl, mm. but somehow just something happens, she just pretends he's a boy and just become the member of the host crab. Okay. Anyway, just fun, laughing, and just just relax. We watch too much violence, I just want something relaxed and just... Okay. <laughs> funny <laughs> sure so who would you recommend this show to yeah if you like a shoujo manga if you want some really fun to make you relax and laughing i would recommend this one for you great and the next one is serious one we watch the band of brother yeah this is a bit of an older one i think it came out in 2001 yeah it's a long time ago but it's very nice what is it so this drama is talking about the american soldier in the world war ii the, their real story and how they doing in the world yeah. and yeah it's a, they just learn a lot as we was saying it follows the easy company a group of paratroopers from the american army all the way from their training in the usa mm -hmm. to their short time in england to d-day in france yeah to their to their tour around europe in other areas of france and holland and belgium and Germany. And this kind of drama make you think a lot. Then you know what terrible word it is. Yeah. I think that's one of the best things about this show is that usually when you watch an American war film or whatever, it really dramatizes it yeah, super yeah. heavily. But this one, it feels a little bit more closer to reality, like a slice of life show that gets into the lives and the heads of these people yeah. who are fighting in the war. Yeah. So who would you recommend this show to? I would recommend the, the one you want to learn something from history and you want to watch some fighting drama, but this one's more serious. It's could be violence. There's a lot of blood and bone and the, the broken leg. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't care about that, I would recommend this one. It's another one that's pretty violent, but definitely worth checking out. So the last one, we just start watching it this day. Mm -hmm. What's that? Berserk. Berserk? So we are talking about the 1997 anime adaptation of Berserk, not the terrible one that started in 2016. Yeah. And I actually watched this back when I was a kid and mm. alongside Ninja Scroll, it was one of the first really mature anime experiences that I had. And as someone who was watching like Pokemon <laughs> and Dragon Ball it's very and dark so on back then, <laughs> this was a bit of a shock, <laughs> but but it just drew me into this new world of dark fantasy. Different style. It is the kind of animated show that you typically would not see on TV in Canada or the USA. Oh, okay. So I watched a lot of this kind of anime when I was a kid. That's terrible. <laughs> well... <laughs> You seem to have turned out all right, so yeah. I guess it's not so bad. I like his art style of drawing the monster. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. A lot of his art is actually inspired by Bosch. If mm -hmm. you know that painter, he's he painted some pretty crazy things. You the rear monster. That yeah, yeah, they're pretty crazy monsters. 
The story of Berserk is centered on this lone mercenary named Guts, as well as the leader of a mercenary group named Griffith, and the relationship between those two characters. And it is just so full of interesting themes and symbolism. There's a lot to unpack and a lot of really great YouTube videos about the series if you want to check them out. I didn't watch it when I was a kid, but I know the news about this day because the creator. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, the creator of Berserk, Kentaro Miura, suddenly passed away last week, which has left the manga in limbo. And a lot of fans are, of course... Heartbroken. Heartbroken, yeah. So it's um, a time when I think a lot of people are going back, reading the manga, and checking out the anime as well. Yeah, like us. Yeah, it's a good way to celebrate the awesome things that yeah. you left with us. Yes. Thank you for the good manga and anime. Thank you very much. So, who you recommend to? I'd recommend Berserk to anyone who, of course, loves dark fantasy, and also to anyone who maybe watches a lot of shows directed at younger audiences or even shonen anime, and just wants to try something a little bit darker and more mature. Just be careful. Because if you are sensitive to violence, then if you watch Berserk, you might just crap your pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty violent. So Berserk, it's worth taking a look at. Yes. So there's all six scenes we watch in the spring. Yeah. So out of these six, which is your favorite? That's a difficult question. <laughs> I like a Viking, I think. Okay. Why do you like Vikings? They have a six season. You can enjoy the story mm. very long time, of course. And every character just have a story and make you just very focused on it. And of course, we cry and just laugh a lot. So it just have a nice memory for me. Yeah, Vikings great. Yes. I really enjoyed it and I really recommend it. Yeah. How about you? Me? That's really tough. I really enjoyed Vikings. I, I liked all of these, but I think if I were to recommend one, especially to our viewers, mm -hmm. then maybe I would say Berserk. Oh. I think the relationship between Guts and Griffith in that show is just way too interesting. Oh, okay. And the show is pretty deep. And if you love anime and want to get into a show or even the manga that has a lot of deep themes to unpack, then I think that you really will enjoy Berserk. <laughs> just be careful, it is very violent. Okay. <laughs> so let's all We've been watching this spring, so which of them have you watched it before? And if you haven't watched any of them, which do you want to check out? Yeah, just let us know. Yeah, and let us know what you've been watching this spring too. So that's it for today's video. But thank you for watching all thank the way to the watching. end. Yes, and hope everyone is stay healthy and stay safe. Yeah, so we will chat again soon. And until next time, bye-bye. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.